Okay, we're going to Constitutional Corner, and this is kind of a more, you know, theoretical discussion. There's a guy, um, uh, Dinesh D'Souza. Correct. He was the uh, he was the creator of the movie 2016, Obama's America, and in that movie, which, by the way, was the top grossing independent documentary for this year that was created, was left out the Academy Awards completely. I wonder why because it was basically talking about Barack Obama, his history, and what has he's done to America since his inception well, in political think, office. Well, what it did, it was a critique of his book. I mean, Dinesh read Obama's book, you know, uh, Dreams from My... Dreams of My Father. From, from My Father. Yeah. Dreams from My Father. And he went and traced his family roots and all this kind of thing. And, uh, you know, in some totalitarian, totalitarian countries or authoritarian countries, if a filmmaker makes a um, movie that's critical of the president or the chairman or the regime leader or something like that, um, they're actually threatened with criminal charges. Well, in some countries, they vanish. In some countries, they vanish. Yeah. Okay, we're, if this was been Venezuela, uh, Mr. D'Souza would have vanished uh, as he drove off his driveway mm -hmm. one night, uh, somewhat similar to... Uh, uh, a, a death in public, which would have been think, a little but, different, a little but, more but, dramatic. But when he did this life so of Obama, what did Obama ask him for a beer summit, or what? what how was no, Obama's no, no, no. That was the beer summit was over the police officer. They arrested the 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 person on the porch. So, so, he, he so Obama didn't invite or hold no, didn't invite him no, 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 no. Uh, for a the beer. The president didn't invite Mr. D'Souza <laughs> to the <laughs> well, White what House. Did, what did the president do? They, to actually, him? the president uh, unleashed the thugs, and <laughs> that would be the election the election committee that said that wasn't. That the same one, isn't that Lois Lerner used to work for that? Yeah, Lois Lerner yeah, yeah, used to yeah, work for yeah, the election yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, funny yeah, how yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Like, Lois Lerner comes up again. <laughs> but uh, the the election, it, Mr. D'Souza was actually accused of donating 20,000 bucks or something. More money than he was supposed to to mm -hmm. one political candidate that was trying to take over Hillary Clinton's seat right. when she moved to the moved to the White House so basically, to start the, the, the Secretary of State. So, so th there's a certain coincidence here. Dinesh made a movie that was a critical um, of the president ex exploration well I mean it was just an exploration of his views I don't think it was necessarily bad it was just saying this well a lot of people done. didn't know those views until they watched it in uh, 2016 Obama's America well, and uh, a lot of people were shocked Mark well no you but I uh, realize that yeah, but a, a lot, lot of people thought, have not seen what they what's really going on and so well, this well, movie opened the eyes of a lot of people but I mean a lot of people didn't know about Frank Marshall Davis well <laughs> Well, Frank Marshall Davis, as we all know, was a mentor to the president. Right. Well, he was growing up because they were both in Hawaii together. But he and, was also the person that the, the mom kind of said, yeah, well, take care yeah, of Yeah, Frank him. Marshall Davis was very good friends with uh, the president's mother in right. Hawaii right. And, and her parents. But he because was. Don't forget, Obama's grandparents lived in Hawaii as well, right. and they were friends with Frank Marshall Davis. Right. And the parents were. Uh, I, I don't want to go to the Marxist route, but the parents were socialists. Uh, uh, the president's mother was a Marxist. So, and Frank Marshall Davis was a communist. A card carrying com car well, car car communist. Card okay. And so, an editor. This is this is the background our president grew up in. Right. So but I'm just saying. So, so you know, Dinesh went into this thing, this historical thing, looked at his book, retraced his family tree, went to Kenya, went to Indonesia interviewed people and as kind of a little um i guess uh ribbing or something what did holder charge initially with like seven years he's looking at seven years yeah well this is funny prison. because yeah. the, the interesting part is is that uh bill clinton had at least 20 different people that were allegedly uh, donating too much money to his last campaign that didn't get any trouble uh, but that we're not going to get into that, and we don't know who the president really donated because his donation rolls from 2008 and 2012 have been totally sealed because of new laws. So we don't know how much people have been giving to the, to our current president. But Dinesh D'Souza, he donates to one person, and magically, by accident, it's he, coincidence. Yeah, it's purely by coincidence. That he just happens to be the producer and the director of 2016 Obama's America, purely by accident, he's targeted well, by the election committee. Well, I would say everyone should look at 2016 Obama's America. It, it uh, Dinesh's theory is that um, 
Obama is a is an anti-colonialist, and he believes that the first world uh, has all its wealth by ill ill-gotten gains. And until everybody on the planet makes the same, there won't be justice. In other words, people may be fooled into thinking that the one percent is the one percent of rich Americans. No, all Americans are the one percent. All Europeans are one percent. All of the Australians are one percent. So, I mean, anyone in the first world is one percent. And so, until everyone's making three thousand dollars a year, we won't have social justice. Well, wait a minute. And that—that's the anti-colonialist. Okay. Viewpoint. Well, that's that's a broad a broad description for one reason. It redefines the redistribution of wealth right. in a manner on a global scale. And the redistribution of wealth right now, um, they can't do it just by calling it that. So we're using things like the environment. The as global warming. Global, global warming is a redistribution status. Oh, my God, the global warming. <laughs> when in reality, global warming is a redistribution of wealth to those that don't have the wealth from the people that do well, have but the wealth. Well, anyway, it's a theory. So I think people should go online. They can see two, 2016 Obama's America. They can decide for themselves whether they think this theory about the anti-colonialism of, uh, of Obama is true. I think it's an interesting theory. It, it seems to fit a lot of different facets. But it reminds me of uh, Milton Friedman. He said, like, he came to a, a road when people were building a road and everyone had shovels. And he's like, why do you have 300 guys here uh, shoveling? We could take a bulldozer and do this in 20 minutes. And they go, well, it's a jobs program, right? If we did it with a bulldozer, we'd be done too quick. And he says, well, why don't you give them spoons? Well, then you'd have to have more people. Well, that's the thing. It's like anti-colonialism. It's like get rid of the bulldozers, get rid of the shovels, get everybody a spoon, make everyone equal. Yeah, and but, that's what we're heading for. But unfortunately, Mark, uh, what, uh, what, uh, you know, this is what gets me. Our president but it'd be has fair. such an opportunity. But everyone, it'd be fair if everyone had a spoon. It'd he be had fair if everyone had one spoon. such an opportunity to put, put work back into America. Instead, what we got now is we've got food stamps, we got unlimited unemployment checks, that's what's been put back. No, into we America. got spoons. We got spoons. And we, we got we spoons. We don't even have spoons. You, <laughs> uh, show yeah, me a work ready project. We got show spoons. me a work ready project. One spoon at a time. One, One spoon, spoon at a time. time. One spoon yeah, at a time. Yeah, but that may be that may work good with a big bag of white powder. But in reality, <laughs> we're talking about we're talking about one thing here. We're talking about. We have a golden opportunity to turn this country into something special. The president has his, he knows what the people really need, and that is jobs. So instead of giving away food stamps, free everything, we have to stop the whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute, let's talk about it. Let's talk about free lunches. Let's talk about free health care. Let's talk about free everything. Well, wait a minute. It's got, the wealth has to be created somewhere, and you can't give someone something, for, the government can't give someone something for free, unless by force, by with a barrel of gun, they take it from someone else. Well, so basically, anything that people call free, it's not really free at all. It has been taken by force of arms from someone else. It's been confiscated without, without their will. Okay, well, let's do this with Dinesh. Let's watch what happens to him, because they're talking about prosecuting him. Dinesh for president. And, and what we'll, we will see is what happens, because he's in the middle of a new movie. After so, he gets out of prison, president. he'll be all ready to go. So <laughs>